Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is our God, our King. The songwriter says, how great is our God. How great is his name. He is the greatest one. Forever the same. He rolled back the water from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I'll lead you. Won't you trust in me? Hallelujah. I know I've just been on that for a while. I can't seem to shake it. I can't seem to draw on any of the other songs that are good and nice. But how can anyone be tired of hearing how great is our God? How great is our God? Uh, another, whoa, excuse me, <laughs> another songwriter says, How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? And all we see, how great, how great is our God? Then they go on and say, He's the name above all name. Come on, sing with me now. He is worthy of all praise, and our hearts will sing, How great is our God. It matters not what you're going through this morning. It matters not what you have been through. It matters not what you have or don't have. It matters not how much sleep you got or didn't get. It matters that you are awake and alive. It matters that you have survived. It matters that you are blessed and highly favored. It matters that you have another opportunity to live, to love, to be, to do, and to make changes. It matters that God has honored you with more time to make a difference in this earth. Your job could have been over and God could have called you over, but he has kept you here. He has kept me here. He has kept us here for such a time and a season as this. And so let us not allow the Lord to take us into a space and a place out of frustration or out of anger uh, saying uh, no matter how much time i give you you don't use it wisely you don't use it to my glory let us have god be feeling so good that he can say well done thou good and faithful servant and that starts with just acknowledging him and welcoming him and just let him know that he is great and just being alive today just being here on this platform just being at this altar on the fourth watch hour with the fourth watch family is proof positive that our god is great our god is greater our god is stronger lord you are higher than any other our god is healer he's awesome in power our god our God, Woo. and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Woo. Glory, hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Guys, our God is not awesome because he makes sure we have no problems. Our God is not awesome because he makes sure we are blessed and highly favored, protected, covered, rich, uh, houses, cars, health. Come on, our God is awesome just because he is God. Hallelujah. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. Jehovah's God all by himself. Oh, you are God 
from beginning to the end there's no place for argument Jesus your God all by yourself he is awesome in this place he is the almighty God there is no God like our God there is no hold no spirit like the Holy Spirit oh hallelujah there is no father like our father there is no brother like our brother Jesus there is no strength no healer no Savior oh there there is none like our God all other gods they are the works of man but he is the most high God and there is none like him we sing to him now all other gods they are the works of man but you are the most high God, Jesus, there is none like you. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God. Welcome into our space. Welcome into this fourth watch hour. Welcome into the fourth watch family time, the family time, the time of worship, the time of honor, the time of grace, the time of mercy, the time of open heavens, the time when this family comes together to say, you are the most high God. When this family comes together to say, thank Thank you, O King. You are not just a part of our lives, but you are our everything. And the time when this family comes together to say, Lord, you are awesome in this place and you are the Almighty God. Yes, there is no God like our God, no God like Jehovah. No God, no God, no God, no God like Jehovah. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are worthy of all praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. We declare that he is mighty and awesome in this place. As we declare his glory, hallelujah, he has shifted our story. Hallelujah. Mm. Hey, Jesus. Mm. Hey, let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on us, anointing fall on us. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh Lord, let your anointing fall afresh upon this fourth watch family. Let your anointing fall upon every member of this family, O God. Let your anointing come forth with power. Let your anointing fall with glory. Holy Spirit, manifest the anointing of the Heavenly Father, Jehovah. Let your anointing arise and let our enemies scatter. Let your anointing arise to heal, deliver, set free and make whole. Let your anointing bring peace. Let your anointing anointing bring love let your anointing bring power in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth holy one of israel we bless you we honor you we magnify you we thank you for the honor of coming before you as a family and saying lord as it was at pentecost we are in one accord and that one accord says lord you are god from beginning to end there is none like unto you this family comes in agreement and we say you are mighty you are the alpha and the omega you are beginning and the end you are the first and the last you are the rose of Sharon you are the mighty one the almighty one you are all that we could ever need hope or imagine you are God 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who can challenge God? Hallelujah. The gods of Dagon could not challenge even the very Ark of the Covenant, much less the one true and living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we declare God's glory and majesty this morning. Good morning, good morning, family. As we give God praise, as we give our Lord, our God, all honor and all worship. Hallelujah. I say good morning to you, my family, in this fourth watch hour, to the fourth watch family, to the arrows. Arrows Radio family, hallelujah. Things are changing, things are moving, things are evolving, hallelujah. Something's moving, something's changing. He feel like moving, it's like heaven on earth, hallelujah. Things are happening. Mm. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And so we give God praise. We give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we have been just in prayer and just uh, faithfully just serving God. And we have received an offer. Hallelujah. For the fourth watch, our uh, presentation, devotion to be converted to a, to a radio script or to a radio or audio and uh, to be played in the mornings on Arrows International Internet Radio, hallelujah, owned Thank by Pastor, Ka Pastors Campbell, hallelujah. They are based in Fort Lauderdale, and so they have said this hour of the morning that we as a family come together to glorify God is the gate, the watchman hour that sets the tone for the day, and they love it. And they have studied and examined and watched to see uh, where, where our mindset is as a family and they like it and so they have offered us to uh, they have invited us to just allow them to take the devotions in the morning and convert and play for their audience on the radio god is moving he is awesome hallelujah he is god all by himself in the name of jesus christ so good morning uh, faithful followers of the lord faithful sons and daughters faithful 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 children of the most high god if you're on facebook if you're on uh, instagram or on youtube know that this is another monday another day another week hallelujah in this other month it seems like just yesterday it was january 1 when we were celebrating the start of the new year and the time has run we're almost in december what does that mean Yes, time is flying fast, but the word told, told us and continues to tell us that the Lord God Almighty will shorten the days for the elect's the elect sake. For our sake, God will shorten the days. Why? Because things are happening in such a way that if the days are not shortened so that the time run by fast, we will become depressed, we will become oppressed. We will even fall away and still with the shortening of the days some persons are still falling away but this today after we finish our time of prayer hallelujah um, we're gonna be praying and asking God to let the anointing of God fall afresh upon us this week we're gonna be doing the anointing the anointing how important is the anointing what does the anointing do what is the anointing hallelujah and so as we fall in the fullness of the anointing of god one of the ways the anointing comes upon us is through worship and honor and so as we have worshiped the lord this morning and honored him and invited him into our space and place hallelujah then when he is there we're in his presence and in his presence is fullness of joy and in the fullness of joy hallelujah the anointing flows freely like rivers of living water Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you this morning for allowing us to come into your presence. We thank you as a family, O oh God Almighty, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. So, on behalf of the Wade family, Lord, on behalf of the Fourth Watch family, Lord, on behalf of the Arrows family, on behalf of all the families of the extended family, 
of our nation and nations and tongue we give glory to the most high god we declare that jesus christ is not just lord come on but he's lord of our lives hallelujah, hallelujah. jesus christ is lord of our lives demons and devils know that jesus christ is lord unsaved people know that jesus christ is lord even those who deny it know in the depths of their spirit that jesus christ is lord what they don't know is that jesus christ is lord of their lives come on hallelujah and so uh, witches and warlocks demons and devils will, will 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 trick persons they will go into church and they will come up and they will begin to preach even the gospel of jesus christ and they will find ways to manipulate and to lead persons astray using the true genuine gospel because they have not accepted jesus christ as lord of their lives and if jesus christ is not lord of your life then you will continue to do evil things you'll continue in a life of sin you'll continue in a, a, a life that is too spotted too littered too open to the enemy because jesus christ has not become lord of your life even though you acknowledge him as lord i'm not talking about any fourth watch family member i'm just talking generally because fourth watch family members have already declared decreed accepted uh back flipped and jump into jesus's arm and says lord i am not going anywhere i'm staying right here because for you i care and with you i want to share amen praise god from whom all blessings flow father as we jump into your arms this morning we declare your majesty we declare that you are awesome in this place father i lift up every fort watch family member before you on this monday morning start of a new week you we seek oh god almighty the times might be dark it might be snowy it might be hot it might be bleak but god almighty with you we to you we seek your arms your blessings your favor your goodness and mercy oh god almighty we seek after you we run after you we seek to worship you in spirit and in yes, truth God. and so lord god almighty ah may your hand be upon us to keep us in perfect peace oh god may your anointing fall afresh upon every fourth watch family member this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth may your goodness and mercy follow us and do great works for us in the mighty name Jesus. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Amen. we declare your glory we declare your honor we declare that you are God Amen. all by yourself and so Lord God Almighty this family comes humbly before you this morning and we say have your way have your way have your way have your way in every element every aspect every area of our lives this week Lord you watched over us last week you watched over us on the weekend you kept us from harm and danger you assigned your angels to protect us and to keep us safe and so god almighty we thank you for what you have already done in the realm of the spirit and in the natural Amen. and so we thank you even now god almighty for what is already to be done this week in the natural i know it's already done in the spirit but God, we thank you that we are healthy, we are blessed and highly favored, we are recovered from any ailments that we have experienced, and we are blessed to be a blessing yes. i thank you lord that the spirit of the lord is upon us as yes. the spirit of wisdom and understanding as the spirit of counsel and might as the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord i thank you this morning oh god almighty that as we come as your children god we come with our cups turned up for you to pour the fruit of the spirit into our cups until it overflows yes. we come oh god almighty because we desire to demonstrate to manifest the gifts of the spirit that men may see your good work your good power your good love and glorify you oh god almighty we thank you oh god that none of us in this family shall be short of fruit of the spirit shall be short of the gifts of the spirit as they are needed where they are needed lord this time and this season is difficult for nations it's difficult for people uh, for, for tongues 
oh God Almighty, but we say we say we will make a difference as Paul makes made a difference on the island of Malta. So we will make a difference in our communities, in our nation, oh God, in our counties, in our state, wherever your people are, we will make a difference by your power in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord God Almighty, we bless every nation where the, 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 the fa our family members are domiciled. We bless every space, every place, every time, every season, and every reason for which you have called these people to yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as a family, we come in agreement and we declare and decree that it is well with our souls. It is well in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we bless every single nation that you have created. God, nothing is wrong with the nation. It's the heart of the people that have been placed on these nations that has caused a problem and so great and faithful God I thank you this morning that the nations of the world are blessed to, to accept your word to accept your will and purpose for them in the name of Jesus I speak to the governments and I declare every government that has sought to wage war against the righteousness holiness and truth of the Lord Jesus Christ against the sacrifice of your blood at Calvary Father God Almighty we command those governments to be torn down and righteous governments to be uplifted in the name of Jesus we declare righteous governments in Israel righteous government in the United States, righteous government in England, in China, hallelujah, righteous government in Russia, righteous government in India, righteous government in all the, the countries of Africa, righteous government in Australia, righteous government in the Eastern Asian countries, righteous government, oh God Almighty. We declare in all of Europe, oh come on, hallelujah, we declare righteous government shall begin to arise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, cause some people who have a heart for you to be, to be, to be placed in governmental positions, oh God Almighty, or cause some hearts to turn. Father, we see when Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar the Babylonian king was, 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 was gone into a whole different direction. He had nothing to do with you but when he came across Daniel when he came across Shadrach Meshach and Abednego God Almighty though he was still a Babylonian he became a believer in you he became a believer in who you are he became a believer to the point oh God Almighty where he stayed up all night fasting and believing that you would deliver Daniel Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth we know nothing is impossible for you what you did for Daniel you can do for all of Asia what you did for Daniel you can do for all of Africa what you did for Daniel you can do for all of Europe oh God Vladimir Putin is not above your visitation oh hallelujah Joe Biden is not above your visitation Boris yes uh, Johnson Boris Johnson is not above your visitation the Prime Minister of Australia is not above your visitation oh so Lord we pray without hesitation that there will be a visitation there will be a move like you did to Nebuchadnezzar a move like you did to Abimelech God Almighty we pray that you will move upon these ministers of government move upon them oh God and let them know that you are God from beginning to end and they need to stop fighting against you because that's just kicking against the prick move upon the governors move upon the mayors move upon the senators move upon the members Members of Parliament across the world, O oh God, and touch them because as your peace hallelujah as your peace and as your blessing and as your love flow on them it flows down to the people that they manage and have laws and rules and regulations over and that includes us and so God as we pray for the peace of your hand to be extended to these members of parliament to these government officials oh god that their minds will turn from evil ways from turn turn 
from seeking after Satan's direction. God, as they turn to you, Father, things will change for those under their command, under their authority, in the name of Jesus Christ. So we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the peace of Israel. We pray for the peace of Palestine. We pray for the peace of Iran and Iraq. We pray for peace, O oh God Almighty, in all the nations that are run by tyranny but run by satanic powers in the name of jesus we pray your peace oh god will invade them and change them in the name of jesus christ we come in agreement this morning oh god that your hand will move mightily upon every member of this family to cause shift to cause change to cause a difference in us and a difference in the world in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord we lift up all the children of this family oh god we lift up all the mothers and fathers of this family all the sisters and brothers the aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews we declare this day a day of blessing a day of favor a day oh god that anyone under the sound of my voice will receive an impartation of your anointing to prosper the anointing to go forth to do and be for good for your praise and for your honor and for your glory we release this morning oh god almighty the oil of your anointing oh father god that anointing that will bring boldness that will cause us to be courageous that will cause us to run and not be weary and walk and not faint we declare this day a day of glory a day when you oh god will unveil our story in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare that every demon and devil that has sought to attack us even in our sleep oh god as we rested oh father god we thank you that that is cancelled by fire in the name of Jesus Christ by the anointing that you have given unto us we uproot and destroy everything that has been implanted injected or sprinkled on us everything that has been declared and spoken over us oh God we uproot and destroy by fire in the name of Jesus we declare our children are blessed our children are anointed and appointed we declare this morning oh God Almighty that we walk in the fullness of overflow we walk in health and strength and so do our children our family members our extended family we walk in the fullness of the glory of the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow we declare oh god almighty that every member of this family that has children with issues children with drug issues with with with, with sexual immoral issues children that have are, are, are sick in the hospital cancer or any other thing oh god schizophrenia any kind of mental issue any kind of drug issue god almighty we speak to those children right now by the anointing of the living god by the anointing of the holy spirit in us and we come in agreement oh god almighty and we declare our children blessed our children healed our children delivered in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 we declare oh god almighty that right now you are dispatching angels angels to war against demonic forces that are attacking our children angels that will war against demonic forces that have been sent against our finances against our health oh god almighty against our marriages against us getting married against oh god almighty our jobs against our businesses angels of war we thank you that you are being scattered across the world right now to every member of the family to every member of this team god almighty i thank you that your your angels are moving with anointed swords to cut off they are moving with anointed oil to pour in the mighty name of jesus christ and so i thank you lord that your people are blessed this day they are highly favored this day they are walking and moving in a will and purpose this day in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth shifting is taking place in our households today not just our literal household but our household of faith in our household of blessing and favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i speak your peace oh god almighty into every life that is hearing my voice today in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i speak your joy into every situation and circumstance oh god Lord, those who are experiencing difficult news, who are going through difficult news, oh God, let my, my friends 
who have, 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 have experienced on the weekend uh, the passing of a dear soul, a dear woman of God. Father God, we speak peace, we speak peace, we speak peace into the Brooks family. Peace, O oh God Almighty. Peace into Reverend Thompson's family in the name of Jesus. The, right, the Reverend Basil Thompson Sr. passed away on Saturday. Hallelujah. And so, Lord God Almighty, we speak peace to his family. Our dear sister Anne Marie. God, we pray your peace. We pray your peace. We pray your peace into her life and in the lives of her family members in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All those, O oh God, who know someone or knows of someone someone who are struggling or crying out or feeling the pain of a lost loved one in this season father we ask that you will teach us how to deal with death we know how to deal with birth and life but we honestly do not know how to deal with death and since death is a part of living then God, we ask that you will give us the grace, give us the anointing, O oh God Almighty, to know how to deal with death in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because Paul says in the word that to live is Christ, but to die is gain. Uh, we don't want to die and we don't want anyone we know to die because we want to live in Christ. But we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that dying is a part of living. Dying is a part of being according to your will and purpose. Dying is a part of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, may we not fear death, but may we only fear not being with you when we should die, when that time comes. May our hearts be set towards you. May we seek you with all of our heart that, Lord, our greatest desire each day is to be more and more immersed in you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare this morning a cutting away from anything that the enemy has attached to this family, our family members this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that the enemy did to us on the weekend, oh God, we cancel it this morning and we declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. We are blessed to walk in the fullness of the anointing and the power of the Holy One of Israel in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare you blessed. I declare you covered. I declare you protected. I declare you firmly rooted and grounded in the courtyard of the Lord. Ah, as a palm tree, I declare that you cannot be uprooted. No storm will uproot you from the courtyard of the Lord. And like the cedar of Lebanon, you are big and beautiful and standing in, your, in the essence of the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk in the fullness of your blessing. Go in the peace of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, for your good hand upon us. Thank you that we walk in the fullness of your glory. In the name of, our, of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, O oh, great and sovereign God. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning again. We give praise and honor and glory to the Most High God. Hallelujah. And welcome you to uh, another week of devotion. This week we're going to be looking at a, a, a new series. Last week we did The Helper in You. And I think each and every one of us, and I say us sincerely, not just as a figure of speech or as a, a politically correct statement, every message that the Lord gives me to, to deliver, He gives it to me first. And wants me, it, it is to be tried in me first before I can deliver it unto others. Because I don't preach at you, I preach with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so I have had to really examine myself to see if that helper in me is arising, if that helper in me is coming up, if that helper in me is bringing value to those around me, if that helper in me is truly a helper sent by God in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I hope that each and every one of you, hallelujah, my family members have been sufficiently encouraged to examine the helper 
in you as I am examining the helper in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I actually have seen a, a, a distinct manifestation of that helper in my wife. Man, I'm telling you, I've been having some pains in my ankle, and Marsha, she don't even ask anymore. She just, she's always either grabbing my leg to rub my ankle to rub it, or to um, or to tell me to put it up on a on a chair or a stool or somewhere. And yes, she was that loving and kind before, and um, and she used to 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 care about what happens to me before. But from the helper message, man, it's like every minute it is just the, the main focus, just being a helper. And as we practice, as I said before, guys, we have to practice to be a helper to those in our close space. If we develop the right attitude, the right heart, the right willingness to help others in our safe space, it will become part of our character and nature. And so when we matriculate externally, when we go into the community, when we go into the nation, it will be easy for us to, to be a helper to, to others because we have practiced at home and we have learned in our family how to truly be a helper, how to care for others even more than ourselves and so this week hallelujah i believe the lord wants to now take that attitude that heart of the helper and add the anointing to it oh come on glory to god when you go out to help can you imagine a helper who wants to clean your your your, your place or you as a helper wanting to do something for someone but you don't know how to do it Oh, can you imagine you wanting to, to, to console someone who has lost a loved one and you go to the house and you just sit there staring. You can't say a word. You can't do anything. You can't pray. You don't know what to do. You're just sitting there just being company. And that's good sometimes. That's what is needed sometimes. But it just means that that is part of the anointed answer that you bring in your life. You should not be there not because you don't know what to do or what to say or even that you are being quiet deliberately because the Holy Spirit has told you to be that. So we need to be the answer that persons need as we go forth uh, to do and to be for his good pleasure. So each day we have to ask, Lord, make me the answer to the problems that ails the world. Make me the answer. Come on. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg was the answer to, to, to social interactions with persons across the world. And he became a billionaire as a result. Come on. Jeff Bezos was the answer to what, uh, what uh, Amazon hallelujah that service that that persons needed uh tesla my um it, what's his name was 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 the answer to a new type of car and so we must be the answer to something and we might we might not and i'm not saying we won't i'm saying we may not all become billionaires as a result of providing an answer to people but we'll become rich in the spirit we'll become wealthy in the goodness of the lord we will become wealthy because that will make god happy amen hallelujah and so to become a good helper to provide a need to, to fill a need or to provide a service a spiritual service and a natural service to persons who are in need we need the anointing the anointing is what will make the difference to our service many people can help but not many people have the anointing to help come on many people can preach but it's not everyone who preach have the anointing come on glory to god many people have, have management skills leadership skills but not many people but not many people have the anointing to to do that which they have been trained or called to do in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and so we that will not be us we will walk in the fullness of the heart to help and the anointing to make that help such a blessing to persons in the name of jesus christ so i want to just uh, visit hallelujah a word this morning i see we have some birthday people glory to god so we'll get to that right after the word this morning praise god from whom all blessings flow we want to just look at um a, a scripture for today so so remember guys make sure you don't miss any day this week invite some persons to come especially persons who are void of the anointing they need to learn about the anointing and so our opening scripture about the anointing this morning is from first john 
chapter 2 first john chapter 2 first john is way around the back of your bible close to the end of your bible after first peter then comes first john so you start at acts and go all the way around and as you keep going you will come across first john chapter 2 and we're reading from verse 23 to verse 28 hallelujah praise god from whom all blessings flow okay so hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus oh what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve hallelujah okay so so the anointing yes so we the, the scripture says no one who denies the son has the father whoever acknowledges the son has the father also that might seem to be a a, a, a non-connecting statement but can i tell you if you acknowledge the father and the son then the holy spirit who is the anointing is automatically manifesting in you and so as he says no one who denies the son has the father no one who denies the son so anyone who says jesus christ does not exist that he is a figment of christian's imagination they cannot have the father so there are some people who will say there is no jesus but there is god almighty oh come on somebody they say they believe in God. Come on, remember the Pharisees were called hypocrites because they believe in Jehovah, the Father. They believe that the, the, the Lord God Almighty, Yah or Yahweh, as they called him, come on, El Elyon, Elohim, they believed in the God of Moses. They just didn't believe that he manifested in the Son, Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth. Amen? And so what, what the Bible is telling us that as we speak to people, we will come across persons who say they believe in God, they just don't believe in Jesus because God could not manifest in the earth as a human being and do what we do and became in touch with our infirmity, became an answer to what ails us. God could not. He is too sovereign. He's too big. He's too mighty. He's too awesome to make himself of no reputation to come and to do what needed to be done to restore us. But I'm saying to them this morning, as I'm saying to you, that's why he is God. That's why. That's exactly why he's God. Because he can do the things that we would not think of doing. He, could, he can do the things that we cannot imagine doing. He can do the things that we would not do even for ourselves. He can and will and have done them. That's why he is God. The moment we begin to try to figure God out in our minds, the moment we try to, 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 to process him or to strategically walk in the fullness of what we understand about God, we just made our first big mistake. We cannot fathom him. We cannot fathom him. We just have to stay confident in who he is. In the name of Jesus Christ. So if you deny the son, then you have denied the father. You have no knowledge of the father. But verse 24 says, See that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. See that what you have seen in the beginning remains in you. Hallelujah. So what we have heard in the beginning must remain in us. We have heard that Jesus Christ is Lord. We have heard that uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If it does, you will remain in the son and in the father. So if what we have heard and uh, we believe it, then that gives us access to the Son and the Father. And once the access is granted to the Son and the Father, then the Holy Spirit manifests in us. And who is the anointing? The Holy Spirit. 
Amen. So, so, so what we learn, what we understand, like for example, last week when we learn that we are helpers and that as helpers, it is important. Jesus, we established, was the is the main helper, and He is in us, helping by the Holy Spirit. And so, when we acknowledge that, accept that, and begin to help, the Holy Spirit, who is the anointing, will anoint us to be great helpers. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we're making the connection now between our, what our heart must believe as a helper and what the anointing will do to connect that heart position to the manifestation. Oh, praise God. I hope I'm not confusing anyone you're following. I soon give you the definition of the anointing, but I'm giving you the foundation, the root from where. Uh, it will come just for today there are going to be other roots that i will unveil from scripture but today it is first john 2 from 23 to 28 so 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 here we go and he says see that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you so we must not let it go by we must not let it leave us we must always believe that jesus christ is lord that he has given us his spirit and he, his spirit is always in us. Don't get into that thing where because something didn't happen the way we wanted it, we started saying God has left us. No, see that what you have heard remain in you. I will never leave you or forsake you, says the Lord. My spirit will always be in you. So believe that. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us even eternal life and so as the holy spirit begins to manifest god's promise of eternal life begins to mesh with the what the anointing produce so watch this the, the the process our thought of being a helper lord i want to help others i want to help you i want to be a blessing to your kingdom i want to be a helper that seeks first your kingdom and your righteousness that all will be added unto me what is that all first of all the word of god as you make a decision to be a helper the word of god begins to pour into you as you as you continue to help and obey the word of god the anointing begins to manifest as you obey in your own life and the anointing begins to manifest you begin to impact other people's lives come on that's i'm telling you this is what you're looking at in my own life as I sought after God as a young believer and I said, God, I want more of you. I want the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I want to go where you go. I want to do what you do. I want to say what you say. And so I made a decision that I wanted to be a helper. And as I started to walk as a helper, the Lord says, you have to learn what a helper does. And what a helper does is found in the word. And so as I began to, to, to get the word in me and I began to believe the word, the, the father and the sun began to manifest in and through me come on hallelujah and so as the father and the son began to manifest the character and nature then god says okay now it's time for you to go out and be a helper so i had the helper mentality the helper idea the helper mindset but i didn't have the helper training oh come on somebody and so I had to get the helper training and the helper training came at Bible school. The helper training came in, the, in, in, in meditating in the word. The helper training came in prayer and fasting. The helper trainer come in my flesh going down, down, down and my spirit coming up, up, up. And when I got to the point where my spirit was just a little bit higher than my soulish desires, my soulish realm, my flesh desire, God began to pour anointing in that space. And so the anointing came in the space between what I chose to allow my spirit to pass my soul or my flesh. And as the anointing filled that space, like a buoy, come on, on top of a sea, on the seawater, I began to float. And the anointing took me higher and took me higher. And took me higher jesus i hope you guys are getting this example because as our our soul our flesh our desires for the things of the world become less important and the desires of god become more important there is a gap between and that space 
that space, that gap between our soulish desires, our constant desire for, for things and for, for money and for all these things. And, it, and, and hear me, please, if you're new, do not misunderstand. I am not rubbishing them. I'm just not focusing on them. They are necessary and important, but that's not what your, your life, our lives are always about that. Our lives, our daily lives are about that. So we don't need to be taking up our spiritual life with that as well. And that's the big mistake that so many of us make. We think we have to take the natural into the spirit rather than the spirit into the natural. And so that's the difference with the helper. The helper starts out in the natural acknowledging that I need to learn and to do these things in the natural. But as you learn and begin to obey, the natural begin to decrease and the spirit begin to increase. And as the spirit of God begins to increase in us, where he starts saying, okay, stop visiting your ex-boyfriend. Stop going to, to, to your ex-girlfriend's um, house. Stop doing having, having sex out of marriage. Stop stealing. Stop lying. Stop gossiping. Come on, stop smoking. Stop drinking. As the, as the word of God begins to minister to us uh, through the Holy Spirit, and we begin to read and realize what God desires of us, and we begin to obey, as we start to walk in obedience, Obedience. You know what happened? Drips of oil begins to come. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I hope somebody is hearing me. Oh, so if we are struggling with things that prevents the oil from flowing, it, we might be wondering, why has it taken so long? Come on. There are people that have been walking with the Lord for 30 years. And I'm not comparing. I'm not trying to condemn anyone or break any, 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 any rules around here. But there are people that have been walking with the Lord for many years. And, 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 and in this season, when God is teaching differently, uh, because they learned the incorrect way, they didn't quickly learn how to decrease so that God could increase. And that the oil could be poured in their lives. And so 30 years and they still have not accomplished as much in God as some of these youngsters that are coming along now. Hallelujah. There are people now that are saved for two years and they're doing things that it took some of us 15 and 16 years to do. And so we have to change that. But the process is acknowledging what we need to do to curtail our own desires and to let the desires of the Lord arise. And the desire of the Lord is that his anointing, his oil, that which lubricates us to get us to operate at a greater level than we could ever hope, think, or imagine, needs to be upon us. Hallelujah. And so, uh, eternal life, when we begin to, when those phases, when the acceptance as a helper and the manifestation of the word of God in and through us along with the anointing oil that combination that uh, that cocktail of events as i may if i may use that um, loosely that cocktail of events brings us a guarantee of eternal life eternal life and here it is even eternal life that's what has been promised but there are things that we must do uh, verse 26 i'm writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. So John was telling us long, 2,000 years ago, that there are people who will try, there are demons and devils who will try to lead us away from our anointing, who will try to lead us away from being helpers. He doesn't want us to help others. He doesn't want our light to shine that men may see our good works and glorify a Father who is in heaven. And so he says, it's every man for himself and God for us all. He says things like God helps those who help themselves. He tells us things that are not in scripture, not according to the will and purpose of God, things that denies our, our call as helper, things that are contrary to the word that makes us um, well trained as helpers, and things that if those manifest, the oil will not pour. Remember, the oil in the woman in 2 Kings chapter 4, the oil that the woman poured into the bucket according to Elisha's command, if she didn't have any bucket, that oil will stay in the small container, just that amount enough for one cooking. That's all she would have had. But she had to have the buckets, the containers, 
And as long as she kept coming with containers, the oil kept pouring. The container of our lives must be a willingness to be a helper. The container of our lives must be an expansion of our container through the word. Come on, every time word gets into us, people of God, we expand. We become a bigger vessel and a bigger yeah. vessel holds more oil. Come on, that's revelation. Yeah. That's revelation. That's revelation. Yeah. Glory to God. And so I'm saying to you, one of the ways that you notice that your life is getting expanded for more oil to be poured in and that oil is being poured in, it changes your prayer life. Come on, glory to God. You used to just pray, Lord, thank you that you bless me. Lord, please, I'm asking you, help me, Lord. Help me to get a husband, Lord. Help me to get a financial breakthrough, Lord. Do. I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you. Help me not to get evicted from a house. Help me, Lord. Please beg you, Lord. Help me to get my, 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 my mortgage paid my rent paid that's when you're still just learning how to be a helper but as the Lord pours into you into me and we begin to expand by word ah the Lord says now speak what I say to speak and as you speak Lord I thank you that I am the head and not the tail I thank you Lord that you have said that I can call forth that which is not as though it were I thank you Lord that you said I am more than a conqueror that I you have not given me a spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind you begin to flow you begin to feel the atmosphere shift why because every time that you speak the word that is in you oil begins to flow and when the oil flow on word power comes calm down calm down Ooh, I'm getting excited come on guys and so once we've made the decision and we begin to walk in word come on and we begin to speak word we move from 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 those that are begging like a beggar on the side of the street mom could you give me a dollar mom could you give me a hundred dollars mom could you give me a pound mom could you give me a euro oh go glory to God we go from begging to calling forth that which is not as though it were I am a child of the king I am the head and not the tail I am above and not beneath yeah. I am rich and not poor I am strong and not weak yeah. the anointing begins to pour because the container has come and is asking for more and the more container we bring which is the word the more more we expand is the more the oil pours and the angels after a while will just come with a hose come on they're no longer using the little the little handle kettle they will just come with a hose connect to you somebody should get excited this morning the angels will just come like someone at the gas station attendant pump or or, or when the truck comes or not even the truck the, the, the oil refinery when the trucks go to the oil refinery and they and they and they drive up to the to the to the, to the dispatching port and he connects the hose and just starts to run gasoline i'm saying to you after a while the angels will not be pouring out of jobs anymore into our lives he will just tell us come on back up to the vine back up to the vine because now you're gonna be filled with wine you're gonna be filled with the oil you're gonna be filled with the blood uh, everything is gonna enter you all at once you don't have to go different places and so the angels will just connect a big hose to us and that hose connects to heaven and then you will see the difference in your life hallelujah you'll begin to pray for the sick and see them recover Saturday morning, Pastor Marsh and I were at this at, at this event. We were ministering, and I'm telling you, man, it was a wonderful, amazing time. The the, 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 the what where we were connected to the to the hose, we just saw that connection flowing to people. Oh, glory to God! Healing was taking place. One lady, she could hardly stand up because her knee arthritis was giving her a warm time. Hallelujah! She couldn't stand up to worship. And when hands were laid on her knee and prayer and the anointing oil flowed from hand to knee uh, into cartilage, come on, into the anterior cruciate ligament and the medial collateral ligament, come on, glory to God, that sounds like I know about collateral and ligament. <laughs> Praise God when the oil of the anointing flowed, come on. Because when there is no anointing, all we do is beg God, God, heal this knee. Lord, heal this knee. Lord, I'm begging you, heal this knee. You are the healer, God. You are the one that says healing is the children's bread. And we beg and beg and beg because we know a little word, but the anointing is missing. Mm. 
Oh God, the anointing has to be on the word before you go out to be heard. The anointing has to be on the word that is in us before we go out to be heard. So when we are heard, it's not just word, but it's word with anointing. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. When the anointing and the word goes forth, it produces way more results. So when word alone goes forth, you could get probably 50, 60 percent uh, in the in the in the in the C range, the average range. But when it comes with the oil, which is the confirmation, when it comes with that 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 hookup, that connection to the host of the Lord Jesus, then you begin to do what Jesus did and even greater works. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The disciples in the upper room at Pentecost were connected to the hose of the Holy Spirit. That's why nothing was impossible for them when they came down. We have to connect to the hose of the Holy Spirit so that the oil will flow into us, that our prayer lives will change. I had to learn from the Holy Spirit that once you are connected, everything begins to change you hear your prayer life change you see your 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 helper ability change your connection change that's why the bible says hallelujah as we continue verse 27 as for you come on and so hold on watch this back up to 26 i am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray if there is no anointing people will use just the word and lead you astray come on those who are you those who we admire and respect as teachers of the word they will teach the word eloquently like a uh, like a law professor teaches the law like a doctor a doctor professor teaches medicine come on but can i tell you there are lawyers who have passed their exams passed the bar but are not are, are not um a star in the legal profession there are doctors who have graduated and have their diplomas in medicine, but no one wants to see them. Why? Because the anointing makes the difference. The anointing makes the difference. So even in the world, you know that there are people who uh, they can start at a doctor's office or a, um, a doctor's practice or a law practice, but they can't win a case because the anointing, even in the natural, is not upon them. And so I'm saying to you that beware of those who want to lead you astray. How do they lead you astray? They lead you astray by manipulating the word, but they have no anointing. They have no anointing. The anointing makes the difference. And so we have to be sensitive to the anointing. We first must gain the anointing in our secret place by presenting ourselves as a living sacrifice. And when the anointing is poured upon us, when we go somewhere to learn from God, come on, to learn what God is saying through men and women of God, if there is no anointing, we will say, praise God, Lord, I came here thought, thinking that I could get connected to the anointing, but there is no anointing here. There is no hose. There is no flow. There is no tank. There is no reservoir of the anointing here, so I must leave. And you just don't go back there. Where there is only sweet talk, where there is only prosperity and good success message, where there is only Johnson's powder, that makes you feel nice and cool where there is only deodorant or cologne or perfume messages uh-uh that's not where we go other people can go there maybe it's a start for some but those who have made a decision to be a helper those who have spent time in the word those who have decreased in their natural and allowed the spirit to rise and have oil being poured on them you can't go back to the place where some people are just learning how to be a helper you have to move to the next level you have to rise to the top amen and so with all due respect you're going to be saying okay so this is nice this but this is baby stage you cannot be at a hard food stage and you're going to feed at a baby place. No, you have to go where there is more oil, where the hose that is connected to you is bigger. So it's the same oil, but the hose is bigger. And if the hose is bigger, what's happening? You're getting more oil. Amen. Praise God. What a good God. Hallelujah. So you got to go where there is more oil flowing. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth glory to god and so uh last verse we're completely out of time monday you know is majority of praying so he says be careful of those who wants to lead you astray don't let them lead you astray you have to know by the anointing that god is real he says as for you the anointing that same anointing that you took to church that you took to that facebook um uh, conference that you took to that 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 um zoom conference that you were invited to that anointing that is already in you come on he says you received from him remains in you the anointing remains in us once we have opened and receive it once our jug has been emptied of every contaminated thing and we are now clean and the oil begins to pour in us it remains in us it goes nowhere it might not be utilized or seen if we become dormant in our own attitude, but the oil is still there. Amen? Hallelujah. So it remains in you. And it says, you do not need anyone to teach you. You do not need anyone to teach you. Does that mean that teachers are obsolete once you have um, the anointing? No, it doesn't mean that. But he's saying that you don't need anyone to teach you. What is a need? Something you can't do without. Food is a need for everyone. If you do not eat at all, you will die. Food is a need. But the Bible is saying to us today, while we need food and while we should go to the supermarket and to the, to the, to the restaurant, and to the, you do not need them to give you food. You can go buy your food at a place, come on, and prepare it yourself. You don't need a restaurant, but a restaurant is important. Marsha and I, from time to time, would love to go to a restaurant and sit nicely and have someone serve us, but we don't need it. It's a value, it's important, and we wouldn't rubbish it because, hey, come on, but we don't need it. So, so yes, church is important, and we shouldn't forsake the gathering of the brethren, and we should always honor it and go and be there, but you don't need it. If you spend time in the word and you have the spirit of God, the anointing, hear me, I'm not knocking church, please don't let the devil send any wrong message. I'm, I'm taking painstaking time to ensure that you understand the context of what I'm saying. Church is valuable and important and we should, but we have learned through this pandemic or pandemic or whatever demic they want to call it. We have learned through this time that more people have grown in God without being in church. Come on. In the building. In the building. The building that is, yes. In the building of church and, and, and sitting under someone and let someone else do the studying, let someone else do the preaching, the praying, the praising, the preparing, and to come and to give us a meal. That's what happens at a restaurant. But God is saying in this season, we must become our own restaurants. We must prepare the material for our own meal. Come on. Glory to God. Because it is when you know what good food tastes like, what a good drink tastes like, that when you go to the restaurant, you can say, yuck, this is not good food. This food was not prepared properly. We need to be so prepared that when we go into the building and someone comes before us and begins to say what is not of God, begins to speak to us, not from the place of anointing, but from the place of a theological seminary, we need to be able to say, no, that's not good food. That food is not anointed. That food is not prepared with enough of all the ingredients that I need I'm not coming back to this place I'll go find another restaurant come on hallelujah to eat from because the hose that is being connected to me at this restaurant is too small nothing is coming through that is of substance to my spirit oh Jesus Woo! I hope you're not just getting hungry from all this restaurant talk but you're getting filled with the oil of the anointing so the Bible says that we need not that anyone should teach us, even though it is desirable that those who are called to teach us will teach us. Because that's, that's why I am of value to you in this platform. Because as the Lord teaches me and connects me to the hose of his anointing, I am connecting you. But if I was just saying, hey, come on now, guys, I'm, I'm at 1 John 2, verse 23, and that means each of you, uh, the Lord says you must give me $2,230. If that's all I was telling you, or I was using the word to try and get things out of you rather than put things in you, then that would be one that you step away from. Amen? Praise God.
Hallelujah. We're almost finished. Almost finished. Come on. He says, but as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as the anointing is real, not counterfeit. Come on. The anointing cannot be counterfeited. Cannot be counterfeited. You can make a counterfeit money. You can make counterfeit all kinds of things. But you cannot counterfeit the anointing. Amen. Many have tried it by going to the dark side and coming into church and trying to, to, to um, con uh, confuse and, and trying to pretend, trying to do some miracles, trying to prophesy by divination. But the anointing cannot be counterfeited. Because once you are mixing dark and light, persons who are in the spirit, persons who are walking in the anointing will recognize. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it cannot be counterfeited. And it says, last line, just as it has taught you, remain in him. Just as the anointing has taught us, has connected us, has walked us through the process from helper to student to anointed one, so we should remain in him and remaining in him means remaining also not just in your secret place not just in your own time of study but remaining in the company of those who are also of like mind mm. Mm. hallelujah hallelujah so in this dispensation where per so many persons cannot be trusted part of understanding what God wants to do because he says in the multitude of counsel there is wisdom and so as you are immersed in persons who carry a similar kind of anointing or who is anointed then from that group from that family from that gathering you will always get anointed information anointed counsel anointed touch anointed demonstration of the anointing of God the oil never stops pouring when you are in the presence of the Lord Hallelujah. if there is no pouring then there is no God there amen it doesn't mean that they're not trying to get God there you know <laughs> but we need not that any man should teach us so we must go to every space and every place where we go we must carry the anointing with us because it is the anointing that is supposed to attract it's the anointing that makes us iron and the other anointing in the other person will be iron and the iron will sharpen us that's the anointing amen tomorrow morning we're gonna be going into the definition of the anointing how the anointing helps us to become our best self what are some indicators of the anointing how do we get more of the anointing come on this is gonna be an exciting week by the spirit of a living god praise god from whom all blessings flow father we just thank you even now for the anointing that you have started to pour, that oil that you are pouring even now on the heads of every member of this family. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that where we were just steeped in word, where we were steeped in, 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 in being babies, where we were just focused on being helpers, uh, God Almighty, we thank you. Where we were just focused on studying the word and knowing word, that we can recite word from Genesis to Revelation. Now we're asking you, God, pour your oil upon the word. Pour your oil upon our commitment to be a helper for your glory. Pour your oil upon us, oh God, excuse me, that we might flourish, that we might truly grow, that we might move, oh God, from being just a small tree with small limbs to being like a cedar of Lebanon. That we will be so big and have so many vines, oh God, that the fruit that grows from our life because lives because of the anointing is limitless cannot be counted it cannot stop we don't go into seasons oh god we're always ready with fruit as one is picked it is replaced as one is picked it is replaced that's what the anointing does the anointing does not allow one to become depleted to become dry drained broke busted and disgusted the anointing replenishes constantly. Thank you, Lord, for the replenishing anointing. Thank you, Lord, for the advancing anointing. Thank you, Lord, for the uplifting anointing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have your way and let it be so. 
and we thank you that it is done as we believe by faith in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah what a mighty God we serve what a good God I hope that that was a stimulant for all to just make sure that you are here each of this week so that we can learn how to access the anointing so that our lives can change our prayer lives come on hallelujah our time in the word because when the anointing is upon you the word becomes life the word just jumps up and just comes into you because it is also connecting to the holes amen hallelujah hallelujah okay so where some of our members our family members are having birthdays today sister lola jones hallelujah lola jones lola jones lola jones so anybody ever tell your name sounds like a superstar like a star athlete or a movie star lola jones hallelujah and also rush ferguson hallelujah rush fergie we call her rush fergie hallelujah so lola and rush are having birthdays today let's just sing happy birthday to our family members happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to two oh no happy birthday i make us sing now happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to two oh no happy birthday <laughs> Some of you must be saying, Pastor, we are easy, man. Go away. <laughs> Bless God. Hallelujah. But we're celebrating with you, Lola and Rush. Hallelujah. We just pray God's blessings over you. We pray God's peace upon both of you this day and this week, this month, and even the rest of this year. May the anointing of God that make rich. May the anointing of God that produces blessings. May the anointing of God that opens doors. May the anointing of God that tears down barriers. May the anointing of God that shift atmospheres. May the anointing of God that produces uncommon, uncommon presence and glory be upon both of you. May the anointing of God that opens all opportunities may that anointing be manifested in and through your lives as a birthday gift in the name of jesus christ may the chums of oil of the anointing in your life pour upon the containers of your family your community and of your world and may they never stop being people for you to pour into that your oil can continue to flow and your life can continue to expand in spirit and in natural in jesus name amen and amen god bless you both god bless you both walk in the fullness of your anointing for it is well hallelujah hallelujah grab your communion grab your communion grab your communion in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah make sure you always have your communion close by on your table or close by on your night table if you're in your room hallelujah so you can grab it quickly praise god father we thank you for this morning we thank you for your blessing and peace upon us lord as we commit this morning to you this time we ask that your anointing fall afresh upon these emblems sanctify and consecrate them O god to your glory to your honor to the healing and deliverance of our body soul and spirit mind will and emotion May everything that is in you, O Lord, be in these emblems as we eat them and drink them. And may our lives truly be a reflection of you once we have sealed this covenant. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the covenant of your body and your blood. And thank you for the honor of being able to join in that covenant with you. In Jesus' name. Father, we do not wish to eat of your body or drink of your blood unworthily. And so we ask that you will search us even now. To the depths of our being see if there be any thought any word or any action that is not of you and forgive us we do not wish that when the enemy comes he will find anything of him in us but everything of you and so we thank you for your forgiveness and your cleansing in jesus name amen, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Sister Sharon, Rush, Rush, Rush Fergie is one person. The other one is Lola Jones. The other person is Lola Jones. So it's Lola and Rush. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God from whom our blessings flow. Thanks to each of you for joining us. We give the God thanks for, as we said earlier at the top of the hour, the uh, Arrows International Radio, Pastors Campbell, hallelujah, for giving us the opportunity to establish another platform for this hour of devotion and meditation and prayer and anointing to be expanded to other areas and other platforms of the world hallelujah and now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in hallelujah. jesus name go forth family and have an amazing day god's way for our god has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way hallelujah in jesus name remember jesus love you and we love the whole of honor too bless god hallelujah hallelujah remember our mantra go forth and be a helper help somebody today in whatever way it doesn't matter it's not about the size it's about the heart so help somebody do something that lets someone knows that you're a helper who has been in the word and now you're demonstrating the anointing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Bless God. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.